morning, everybody. So how are you today? Fine. Good. Wonderful. Good? You're good? Great. Okay. I'm going to reintroduce myself just in case you forgot or you're new today. Anybody new today? Okay. That's good. Well, welcome. Well, I'm Eleanor Burns. Yay. It's nice to meet you. Just in case you didn't know, you know that I am a stripper. Whoa, I love my stripping. Any of you strippers? Let me see. Yay. Okay. But now, since I've been in Julian, I am a jammer. Jammer. Actually, I'm a Blackberry jammer. Whoa. Ooh. Now, when you become a jammer, you get so hooked on your jars, you just don't even know how many jars you need. Let me tell you, you better buy them early because people buy them out. Okay, so this is how it all happened. Here he is. He's John Landis Mason. Mason, let me see, and the year is 1858. 1858, they started with those jars. Look at this. The last people that owned my house left me these jars. Mason jars. Do you like the color of them? I just couldn't quite decide, are they green or what? They're sort of green, green, blue. Oh, they're aqua. Do you know that this came from the sand? These jars came from the sand in Lake Michigan. Really? Yes, yes. They made them in the Yes, yes. They're, they're like, they're, who said plastic? <laughs> I heard somebody say plastic. Well, anyhow, what do you call it whenever you have a seam on the side? They were molded. I knew you'd, get, you'd be able to guess, but anyhow, they're molded. And if you look on the bottom, did you know that they have numbers when they were molded? And this one is number two. Do you think if I went on Antique Roadshow, this would be worth something? Huh? I, I'm going to walk in with my mason jar that has number two on it, and I'm going to wait for like, oh, maybe a thousand dollars. Well, they did have one for 80. The, no date, but I looked. You could have it. You could touch it and look at it. Because I have some that are dated 1908. 1908. Well, this is dated number two. I think that's really good, huh? Number two. And they're just such beautiful colors, and they have these rims on. This one is kind of, it's almost, I don't know, it has an odd shape, but you can see the molding on the side. But notice, not only is it Mason, but then it says ball. So first, Mr. Mason took out, um, he took out, oh, what, a paper on it? I can't think of the right word. Patent. Thank you. I'm so glad. You just give me all the words. <laughs> he took out a patent, and then... Ball took over the patent as well, and then Mason lost his. But they're really, really cool, and I think they're really nice. And what's really fun, if you think about it, you know, this is just such a country-looking thing, isn't it? You know Elvis Presley, don't you know that guy? When he says, don't step on my blue suede shoes, that's because he was kind of poor. Of course he didn't want anybody to step on his blue suede shoes. But he says, and I'm having my drink from my old fruit jar. Well, you know, that was like a way of being really thrifty, huh? So whenever I bought my ranch in Julian, I had the boys out in the attic. It was 2000, money was tight. We're all looking around going, oh, how are we gonna, how are we gonna uh, furnish this house? So Orion goes, mom, look at this. You can take the mason jars and this is what we'll drink out of. And we're still drinking out of these jars. <laughs> and look at them, they're still in really good shape, aren't they? They're in really good shape. So then there was another guy that came along, and this is really cool. This also says ball on it, but it says Eclipse 
wide mouth. Yes, it's called a lightning jar because it's very special. See, it doesn't have metal up here. Have you ever seen these? Yep. The reason that it's called a lightning jar, let me see if I can lay it back. Lightning jar. And the reason is because you can open it in a flash. Woo! Wow! Was that a flash? Yes. Yeah. I, and Brian said this morning, El, you stole my coffee jar. I keep my coffee beans in here. And it's just really fun, and it close up. You don't. You can just close it so easy. It has this little thing. I don't want to drop this because I'm sure it would bring a lot at Roadshow too. You know, <laughs> they're very, very valuable. Now I'm going to show you. Look at this. I brought my mason jar full of homemade blackberry jam from Julian. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> yes, and usually we write the date on it, and I forgot to put the date on it. But anyhow, I opened it this morning, and the jars just, they, they stay fresh. You know, I had to pop it off. Mmm. <laughs> oh, oh, Alan, I'll let you want a little taste. <laughs> Here, it, the jars keep the fruit as fresh as the moment that you made it and put it together. And so this, that's, that is just my whole story on mason jars. Are you excited? Well, we love mason jars. Teresa has, Teresa has something on a mason jar. Oh, oh look at her. You want to see, well, you want to see yours or you want to see Brenda? No, you get to go first. Oh, I get to Brenda go first. Brenda has to be ready. Yeah. Okay. Just show it. Just this show is it. Brenda's. Oh. Turn it up. I'm showing it. There we go. Oh, the lightning jar. Uh -huh. See, the lightning jar. Isn't that cute? Do you see it? That okay. is very, very cute. You want to see? And then there are lightning yeah. bugs in the jar. This is a Christmas wand that she made again. It's Brenda. Uh, it's upside down. Oh, it's upside and down. And that one? No, it's that not one L. It's not upside down. That's how oh. it's supposed to be. Oh, it you is? You hang it right. Yes. Oh. It's like a Christmas ornament. That's very, very cute. Out of a jar. Yep. See, look at this one. This is the hanger. So there you go. Oh now this God. is it. That's, cute. that's beautiful. Okay, that's Brenda. That's Brenda. And, and, and this is, and look at the way cute that she uh, uses this. This is her um, Oh my on the goodness, side. a boat in a bottle. <laughs> and uh, everything of that, you can print it. Um, that you can print these patterns on um, Accu quilt. Oh my goodness, See? all of those. We did not find all of those. Oh, they were there. It's just that you can were teaching them. You can have them. There it is. See? Oh okay. my goodness, thank That's you. That. Those are all really adorable. You have to put them up on the design wall afterwards. And then, and this, that, this is what I did. <laughs> There you go, there. This is really cute, huh? This is what I did, and I said, hmm, how do I gonna do this? With buttons, that is so cute. I kept out of a whole store, then we don't have a fabric with buttons. We have few, but I wanted to have them, you know, lay on top of each other, but that's They're it. really, really cute. That's really and cute. And then you too, notice, Lisa. all I did, I we cut a hat and, and an inch from the bottom, then I fold it in half. Then this I cut two inches from the bottom, fold it in half. So that's what it makes it different sizes. Very, okay. very cute. Very, very cute. And you also can um, you also can shrink it uh, narrower on it. And then this uh -huh. wasn't a salvage. I really thought it was cute, so I had to put it there. Measure twice. Just is yeah. that must be something that comes with a fabric and so on. So Ma it's, it's be measured twice, cut once. Uh huh. <laughs> right. So there you we make, go. Those are really really cute. Mm -hmm. That I, I love them. You'll have to put them on the design wall. Okay. So okay. I've been busy too. Right. Always. 
I have been working on my decoration for the kitchen in the spring. Ta da! Do you want to help? Oh, Teresa's yeah, putting it sure. up. So this one is more like the cover that you have. That's actually on the window seal. They're all lined up in a row. There are four jars lined up in a row. And um, I, I looked and I really don't have an area that's straight across. But I looked on the wall in my kitchen. I have an up and down one just like this one. And so this is what I decided to work on. And I don't know, I did not know what color that mason jar was. Is it green or is it blue or is it teal or what is it? And I looked all over and I'm trying and trying to figure out. And so I took a piece of green fabric and put it, cut it upside down, upside down. And then when I did this little pinwheel flower, we're gonna look at the directions on those, you have them the little pinwheel flower out of half square triangles. And I started with a dark stem. This is outside the jar. You gotta get this now. It's outside the jar. And when it goes into the jar, I had to use the back side of it. So it looked like it's a stem in the jar. Does it look like a stem in the jar? Does it? <laughs> I didn't sew it down because I thought, well, I'll just rip it off if you think I didn't get the effect. Isn't it cute? Isn't it fun? It's just really, really fun. And so each one, the, just the different colors. And I, I love to make half square triangles. And so I just had a couple of pinwheels and I stuck them in the corners around the outside. And I, I want you to really look at um, my caps. Okay, I decided, okay, I'm gonna use stripe, okay, up and down, I gotta use stripe. So first I cut them up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and up and down, up and down, up and down. And then I really looked at them and I go, wait a minute, they don't go up and down, they go around. <laughs> the little tops go around. <laughs> So don't make the mistake that I did. <laughs> Draw your little uh, fabrics, your little jar lids going around. And these are really, really old. Look at this, but they do come off. Yes. Ah, and then there was another sealer that goes on there too. Oh my goodness. And you have to show the back. I love it. It's very cute. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. But um, in my kitchen, Thank you. <clears throat> a hook like, like this. Oh, she's gonna put it up. Oh, you slide your little casing this. on I'm here. I'm so sorry. Yeah, oh, well, this was a demo. Oh, fun. Yeah, this, this is in my we kitchen. We have some of those things. That's here. what I thought. We do have Something. these for sale. Aww, okay, so cute. this, and then if you have like um, the top of your cabinet in your kitchen, then that just top so this cute. to the top of your cabinet and you can just hold it like that. I will do it right and here. I love this system because you can easily change a quilt any season. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is and you know cute. I do that. <laughs> okay. That's fun. Yes. <coughs> thank, I re thank you. I really enjoyed it. Would you like to learn how to make a jar? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <coughs> and the great thing is it's really easy to do. It's really easy. Trust me. All right. Now that I made a total mess on my table. So let's see. Um, if you look at the pattern, everybody's got the, win the window seal blooms table runner, right? With the four little ones and see that color? See the um, designer. The fabrics are from Maywood, but see the designer wasn't sure just what color those mason jars are either. So I thought it was fun to, um, she might have turned her jars, her fabric back, back, you know, wrong side up too. What do you think? It looks really, really cool. You like my stems? <laughs> oh good, because I had a good time doing them. Okay, so. Can't wait to show you. Turn the page. 
And I'm going to ask Teresa to sew today. Ooh, aren't you excited? So all of your yardage is on pages two and three. And you can just follow the colors. They're simple. Boy, you just can really find all things creative. I love the design wall, right? I think it's really, fa really fun. Okay, so just keep on going. And go to page five, five of seven. I have all my stuff ready. Okay. The jar itself is, com becomes an eight inch block. And this is the, this is the um, cover of it. But the jar is an eight inch finish size jar. Right here is the package. And so to pick pieces, dies that will go with the eight inch jar, then you pick the eight inch cube to work. Do you have the box? If you don't I have don't the box. have the box. The, how many of you have the eight inch cube? Yes, see, yeah. that's good. Can uh -huh. I tell you something that I just discovered that also the value die works great. The value because, die because too. Because it's the same side of it, the yeah. value die. The value die, yeah. Okay, so anyhow, it was easy once I said, oh, I could make that little block. Oh, I could make my little pinwheel block with um, the eight inch cube. This is what we're gonna make. But I screwed up in the beginning. I made only a six inch. It didn't fit to my bottle. <laughs> I found out. So. To make the, the little pinwheel, I'm just going to start with the eight cube. And the first number for our triangles, for our half square triangles, this is the five. Okay, Teresa has all eight of them lined up. And first, it's the five. So you look uh, in your all of the selection. You pick the five. Five. We're going to make half square triangles with that. And also, I just looked at the picture, and I did it wrong, but it was better. I picked the eight, the eight, for the sides, oh, like see. this. You they're they're this two rectangles instead of the two. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's what but we're that gonna. Works. That's what we're gonna make very very quickly first. Is that good? Okay, I'm gonna show you. Oh my goodness, look, you can get jars of all sizes. <laughs> I think it was like last year, I waited too long to go shopping for my jars and this is all that I could find. But my friends didn't like this size jar. <laughs> so it's good for putting your bobbins and little things like that with your sewing. They're wonderful for saving. Okay, so what I wanna show you right now, it's hard to see on this, but in the block, the blocks, this is the rectangle with a darker fabric in the center, a little pinwheel, and then these are lighter, but you can barely see them. But I do have a pair that's better. Okay, to make just one block, just cut for your dark. This is a three by seven and a half three by seven and a half. They're dark and they're light. And so just font make a light. This is your background, three inches by seven and a half, okay? Put them right sides together, okay? And uh, this is enough for one block, but heavens, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't waste my time, I would cut more. <laughs> okay, so, but we'll give this to Teresa in just a minute. Okay, and then this is the light for the corners. So take again a three by seven and a half and take your background and put it right sides together. And then just take them and stack them up. And so they stick together. Do I see an iron? Oh, it's up there. Okay, to make them stick together when you're sewing them, just press them. 
Press them good. Oh, it's cold, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, dang. So she's going to set that up. So I haven't um, really been talking about your machine uh, to set it up for your sewing. But anyhow, the best thing for doing these half square triangles so they don't jam into it all the time is a single hole throw plate. And that'll really help. We use a quarter inch seam and there's a guide on that. But yet we have the all new so straight and fabric guide that you can use because this line here lines up with the needle then this is the quarter inch seam and Teresa is pressing them really hard so that we can just they stick together nothing worse than sticking these apart and um, this is just my technique I always put my fabrics for half square triangles right sides together okay now this is the die and I actually, as a little help, so I don't have to remeasure every time, write what piece of fabric, size of fabric you should put on this. So then you just don't have to um, measure it every time. So when you place it, you just line up like that. Two, okay. That's eight. I know, Teresa said it's eight. I know it's eight. How many are you supposed to stack up? No more than six. Right. They're, they're small. <laughs> okay. What did you say? They're small. It's okay. <laughs> and, okay. <laughs> and so you need to have that size um, mat to cover your machine with. And you could just push it through there. It went right through it, right? Right to it. Okay, now we're going to see. And you're going to sew. Did I tell you that? Okay, so I'm going to get my stiletto ready for Teresa. So whenever, before you open this, before you take it off there, just rub it good and make sure the friction's gone. I like to grab a corner and slide it off. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, look at this. You did such a good job. Awesome. Isn't that cute? <laughs> you know what? How many are here now? There's eight, eight. There's eight, and what the great thing is, is that they are already right sides together. We press them. You don't have to pick them off, and there we go. Ooh, is that good? So they're all there, just like that. Okay, so Teresa's gonna start. You have to do a perfect quarter of an inch, and whoops, you know what? You could have saved this. This could be your jumper scrap. Oh my goodness. You could use this as a jumper scrap to get started. But she is just going to assembly line sew all eight of those. Okay? All, all, of all them. eight. Okay, and so, so I can pick these and turn it around this way? Yes, and you can turn. I like to sew with my dark on the top. Oh. And you can because... Oh, so I have to flip them. Yeah, you might okay. have to flip them. I like to have okay. the dark on the top because you're going to press your seams toward the dark. And the ladies are going to need this beautiful stuff. Ah! You know what? They've, you've given me two, Teresa, and I still haven't gotten one home. I do not know what I do. Oh, they're in the box somewhere. This is a... This is... I know. This is a project basically from beginning with my son Grant and his skateboard business and his layered wood that Orion designed this tool and had him shape, you know, um, do the wood for the cutting and then Orion set the whole thing away and had it manufactured. But isn't it beautiful? Yeah. It's the Burns tool. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad she's just going fast, fast, fast. Okay, so how about let's just look at the um, rectangles that are going to go on the sides. This is um, number eight, or it's two rectangles. When we're done, we're going to have... I like that, Elle. What's that? I like that rectangular instead of the square. I know. You, you know me, I always rewrite stuff. It's okay. 
Okay, hey, she so has them dark. all together. And I like, I actually leave to have them. You know what, do you have a, um, a thread cutter too? We need oh, a thread cutter. Oh, it's right here. If um, we look in the I let drawer. Let Patty borrow your, um, your oh. flower, but you can have oh. that one. You let Patty borrow it? I wouldn't let her borrow anything. She doesn't give it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now she's opening her. Huh? She First she set the seam, and now she's pushing open towards the dark. And she's going to go back and just press all of them. Aren't they beautiful? Mmm. Hey, you know what? We've had so much rain in Julian that um, you guys could all come and jam with me this season. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so why I like to I like to keep them all like this because we have this tool that now that they're all pressed, and I always use this at home, but yet I realized I have not not been using it here. And as you separate them, just put in their dark and in their medium stacks. So you're all ready. Woo! Whoops. All right. Yum? Is it yum? Okay. While you are tasting the blackberries, I'm just going to give this to Teresa. You need to have four of them. So you need to have two pieces of fabric. Put them, uh, it doesn't matter if they go right side up or wrong side up, but here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Teamwork. Thank you. We're going to have it in a diffy. So that's all that you really need to make all the little pinwheels. The one that we're doing is right up above the jar. These are just the centers. So it goes really fast. Okay, one more time. Okay, Teresa, sit down. Okay, now we're gonna um, reference your pattern. At the top of the page, it shows how to take the dark in the center and lay out your little darks. And I'm gonna just turn them so that they are for Eric. One, two. I just like if you stack them all up, then you just kind of turn them around. Ooh, and let me see. Is it right? Yep. Yep. It's right. Good job. And what's really fun, now when you flip these right sides together, the seams are going in opposite directions. You did a good job. Opposite directions, and so they lock together, like so. Yep. Okay, now she's just going to go ch -ch 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 -ch. Make that noise whenever you do it. <laughs> did everybody get a bite? They're wild. They're wild and I don't have to do anything. I just have to fight the deer off so I get them. <laughs> but um, last year it was such a drought year that we didn't get anything and so I'm just hoping. Okay, so now Teresa's gonna take the second one and assembly line, sew it right behind it. But with all of the rain, I think they'll, they'll start. Yeah, I'm really counting on it. Okay, so now they're still connected in the middle. So open the pinwheel. Oh, look, she did a gorgeous, gorgeous quarter of an inch seam. Yeah? So then you just flip them the opposite way. And I like to push the top seam up and the underneath seam down. And go ahead and line it all up. I like to make pinwheels in all sizes. It's just such a great way to use up all your scrap pieces and put it on there. Okay, so while she's doing that, then we're just going to take these four rectangles. And we will lay out rectangles right side up. One, two. I feel like I'm in a cooking demonstration. Four. And now take the um, medium half square triangles and just drop them right in the corners. Can I move the stitches? Yeah, are you gonna unsew them? Yeah, okay. sure. Okay, so, so she's gonna swirl. 
She's using her handy dandy Burns tool, <laughs> the Burns boys. Okay, now once you um, cut the loop there, now there's stitches, about three stitches. Sorry, this is on the way, the uh, thread uh, there, whatever uh, went from other uh, one. But, okay, can you, is Eric real close on that? Okay, you pick out those three stitches. A lot of people see me doing this, but they don't, um, they don't get it out. Whenever you open you up go. a pinwheel, that's See? one seam. See then what's what's missing, what's gone? Then you and now you flip it over and you do the other side. But this could ultimately be pretty bumpy if you just leave it all stacked like that. But now when we swirl it, we're going to make it as yeah. flat as you can. Yep. Okay, now I always say give it a little force. <laughs> Go, yeah, let me do it. Like, <laughs> and it pops open. <laughs> ah, and so now you do a clockwise press in the center. So it's all open. And you just take it like this, and it lays really flat. You did such a good job, Teresa. Can you see that? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and from the right side? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> if I did it, I'd have to cover it when I showed you. <laughs> I had to give it, I haven't been, I can't even see those threads anymore. It's scary. Beautiful. Okay, press it from the wrong side and the right side. And now it's just going to go right in there. Okay, like so. Is it pretty? Yes. How about noise? A little appreciation. Woo! Let's turn this over. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, messed you up. <laughs> no. Everything else was okay except I, that one. I know. I can't see. One time, uh, Orion and I sewed late at night after everybody went home, and we noticed that some of these were wrong side up. And we said, oh, nobody will notice, you know. So Teresa came in in the morning and made us unsew all of them and turn them over. <laughs> I think it was Patty. She's confusing me with that. <laughs> okay, so all we have to do now are these vertical rows going down like this. So, so do, you want, do you want to do it or do you just, how about let's just go on to the jar, okay? Robert? You can do it, but I'll show you. You want me to or yeah. not? If you want to, but we should go on to the jar. Yeah, so she just flips. But you can see how the seams, when you do this, you push the seams in towards the center on both sides, in towards the center. And then when you lay it flat and press it again, just press away from the center on both sides. So everything lays nice and flat. Good? All right. Oh, she's going to just Only fly through while Put them I... together. And yeah, it's and okay. You can... It's okay. I can go into my next box. I love your fabric. So, for this one, I, I did a little bit extra. Um, this is my jar, but we need to have the leaves and the stem. And so, I found... And that's this die right here, I'll show you. This is the die that I used. It is different than what they had because I had just had 55007. And so I just thought I wanted to show you how cute the flower is and the stem, and you can use that. But um, whenever you put, you want to, Press these down. You know that you use all the um, paperback fusible. This is the top part on mine, and I pressed the fabric side up. And then for the leaves. And then for the stem, I pressed the top part of the stem right side up. And for the bottom, when it goes into the jar, I did it wrong side up. And that's how I got the look of, you know, like it was in water. 
But anyhow, I'll just take these and see. See how she's coming. Oh, she's so fast. <laughs> okay. So this is paperback fusible. And um, this is the leaf that we used, that I used. So let me just cut this, fold it in half, and I'll cut it. But you could do, actually, you can do six layers. And the paper is considered a layer. OK, so there's that. OK, and how about I do a black stem for the plain black? As soon as I as soon as I cut this, I'll look again. It says on the side of that. Yeah, I know, but oh, can you read it? On is he on it? That says round flower. Round flower. It's called a round flower. But there's one listed in your pattern too. Okay. Slide it off. Ooh, look at that. It didn't go through right on the bottom. Doesn't it look, it looks pretty. It's so nice. Whenever you are doing this applique technique, you put your uh, paperback fusible on first. I actually see some people, they just cut the, cut the flower and then they cut the, uh, paperback fusible. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you just press it off and then it's ready. Is that pretty? Yeah. yeah, that's really pretty like that. Like that, like that. There's an extra one here. And so then this would be once it's in the water or in the fruit. Oh, cover it. That's very nice. Is that very nice? Very nice. I mean, it's one of my favorite flowers. Oh, yeah, I love it. Um, so I just wanted to... Don't. <laughs> Come on. Go. Sometimes the blue light comes on. If the blue light comes on beside the green light, turn it off and turn it back on again. And then it'll work. And then you don't have to stand there looking silly. Okay, so now you've got all kinds of stem in the water. So I have to cut the bottom off again. But it, it was fun to do. And then you just sewed, show, sew down the outside edge. There, how about this? Pop and, ooh, it's all wet now in the water. Great? Is that cute? That's very cute. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I was um, doing with this one. What I, I found out was that it's, it's hard for me to um, plan this to get it all laid out before I press it. So I found out that if I go ahead and press the top half, I was, this is just a little, um, probably make like a trivet and put some batting in it and such. But I pressed all of this and I left this still loose. Because then you can take your seam ripper, you want to tuck it in the jar. So I pressed the seam open. I pressed it open whenever I was working on it. And so now if I pull it back, then if I'm really lucky and if I can see. So just take your, whoops, I went a little crazy there. But anyhow, see, you can just cut it off right where it's, you know it's going to be. I have sometimes spent hours just trying to position stuff like this. And look how easy, just tuck it in now. And it's done. Is that good? And then you can press it again, and you don't have to stitch up that little hole or anything. But that's just a really quick trick that I found. And that one's going to be a lot of fun to make. OK, we ready to cut? Oh, let's see. Show it. Show what? Show, oh. your, show your flower. You know what? Eva, it's almost like we could do these two, huh? Wow. 
Love your flower. Eight inch, eight inch, eight inch. That looks really cute. Very, very pretty, huh? All right. So let's just go ahead and get our jars cut. And now this is the jar die. Cute? Very, very cute. And this is a block on board. That means that everything to make uh, this jar is on one board. And so block on board. And actually, I quickly found a 10 inch square. And it's, it's a pretty good green, don't you think? And this one, if we, if we just um, put, fold it right sides together, I'm going to line it up so that she can cut that that. All right, and now we need to, you know that I use a lot of scraps all the time at home and rarely get to work with new fabric. But anyhow, that's because I'm not next to the store. <laughs> I have to have all in my stash. But I do call Stephanie and say, send me, send me. Okay, this is the side panels of the door, of the jar, right here. You just need to have two of them, but you can cut through four layers. So I'm just gonna put that right there and fold that in place. And then this is the top part. You have um, the A is right here. You need two of them. That's the A. The B are the little corners here. You need to have four. Right there. B. And then C is the lid. You need to have white for the top of the lid. And then you need to have the stripe for the actual jar itself. So these uh, C has background and a print. Okay. So I found this strip. I go, ooh, I think I can work this one. How's it going to go? I think I measured it last night. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I have to go this way. That's what's fun. Look at that. You could just, that works, doesn't it? Okay, I'm just going to go like this and cover it. Oh, and cover it. I. I just try, you know, hope that I have scraps <laughs> all the time that I can do it with. Okay, and so let me see if I pull this just a little bit more. All right. So now you need to have a mat the same size. There we go. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, are you going to sew? Sure. What do you want me to sew? Okay. First, we'll pull out the green, right? Mm -hmm find out. That'll be the easiest to sew it. Okay, here is one for you. Thank you. Can we use that reverse size? Or um, yeah, don't like you think? To make I it? think we should use okay. the reverse side. Okay, and now this is A, and this goes, here, turn it towards Eric. Oh. Okay, and these are the little pieces up in the top. Let's see, how about, let's give you this first, and then you'll know where to put it. Okay, oh, that goes there. Right there. Yes, and you need to have that same size in the white. Whoops. I think it's right there. Oh, oh, you have lots of them. You do? Consequently, I usually have okay. a lot of little there pieces. There we go. Yes, okay, that's how it's going to go. Now, once they are sewed together, then, see, you have to keep a little pair of scissors handy. These okay. are the A's on right either there. side. That's the C's. And then you need these long guys right here. And this is the D's. And you're just going to put them on the side. Oops. Oops. Let me see. Oh, you guys weren't looking at these. It's okay. Don't worry. We'll recut it. We'll recut it. I'm sorry. You can't recut it because I don't have any pieces left. <laughs> can I have this? Yeah, sure. That's the one that we have. Okay. So now this is the B. 
the little corners be right here. And these are very easy to do, right side up. Oh, she's turning them out. Okay, you just lay them out. <laughs> there. Okay, I'm it's doing so better. Tricky. I'm getting my shots every month. There. All right, Al, good. Do you think it's long enough? No. It is. It is. This mess, this is what I was supposed to do. That's great, Al. Okay. You want so me I'll to do it, it or you want me to start sewing? You are going to start right here. Okay. And whenever you flip these, this okay. is really critical. And this is where your stiletto is really useful. When you flip these right sides together, these corners have to match. Can you see that? And then when you do your quarter inch seam, it's like, oh my gosh, it says it's so clear down there. But you have to just sew, sew that every time. And I do like an assembly line, just go right around the, the outside edge, just do all four of them. Yep, you okay. can go, and I'm gonna get you okay. more pieces. Oh, good. So whenever I start stacking and going wild with my scraps, I do ultimately end up with extra pieces, but you can always use them for jumper scraps and such. Because I never seem to have time to count. <laughs> this is my, <laughs> life is going too fast. Okay, so you watch Teresa, see how she's doing. Are you having a good time, Teresa? I am, actually. Okay. So these are the sides. It's good. So I just think the the um, the AccuQuilt Go Big, I, I just love working with it all the time. I do a lot of charity work with the Women's Club. Um, I have classes come into my studio. Oh, look, she's still assembly line sewing. Can I okay. press? Uh, yes, you can. I'll press if you want to just go ahead. But there's not anything that you can do, huh? If okay. you press this for me first, then I can. Okay. So anyhow, I do a lot of charity work, and um, whenever the students come into my studio in Julian, I have everything cut out for them like a little kit, and they really like it. And I couldn't do it without my AccuQuilt. It's just works it so easy. Okay, there's this little part here. Now she's going to add those side pieces that I just cut. I haven't really found that you need to do anything um, different about your pressing. You can basically press how you want on this project because there's nothing that you really need to match. Okay, but I did press this open if you're going to stick a stem in there like that. Okay. So I do these side first. Yes, right? you have to do those first. Uh, of course, obviously, and then the next thing is going to be adding these pieces right here. One, two. You want to just is that okay? yep, grab them on. Okay. I don't know if you sew like this, but I do this exact same thing. I just always see what I can assembly line sew together so we don't have to clip the threads in between. You have less jamming. Whenever you do that, how about we move the little jar out of the way? Now I add these. Now you add that. See, that's how you can do a jar in, what, 15 minutes? <laughs> just keep it rolling. Step on the gas, girl. I'm just kidding you. And I, I thought that these would line up, the top would line up to the bottom, but don't, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't line up. Okay, and you're going to... Then I open and put Yes, oh, and you coming. give me this one. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, and then I just always um, cut off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cut the top off and I'll run. Oh, you got them all done. Okay, you can press it. Yay! Me? 
Press yeah. Them. Oh, press you this one. Press, <laughs> press stores no, anywhere. No, I'm going to just look and see what they have to do on here. Oh, okay. So it's really, see, she's taken all of those steps. And see how she's finger pressing the seam first, and you're just pressing the seams away from the jar. And I would like to always press on and the back, And these doesn't matter? Uh, no, because it's not going to match. It doesn't, okay. they're not the same size. Okay. Yeah, I basically okay. did just pressing. Okay, and I do like to check the back side. The back For, side? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Yay! Are you impressed? <laughs> Very. Okay, so all it's just going to be right here, like that. And now we need to have some of the, ah, uh, yeah, actually, we've got it all, it's this, it's this one. Okay. Yes, this is backwards. She's telling me. Oh, <laughs> I didn't notice that. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> hey, you know what? I We'll fix it later. Thanks yes, for letting yes. us know. Yes, we'll fix it later. Okay, how about this is how it's all going to go together. So I'm going to have Teresa sew this on next. And this is, I said you don't have to match, but you do want to line up these seams right here. Yes, okay. and but see how it fits if edge it to fits, edge. They should. If it fits, yes, and then we'll press that one open. All and right. let's just see. Okay, let's hope. I'm gonna do this for you and do it right. Oh, good, Al. Because is that where I'm supposed to that's put my so stem? That's so cute. On my flower. Yes. Yeah. Not where it's. This is the flower. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You wanna show up here? Eric, see, this is the flower. I don't know what these guys are, but see right there. And we're going to have to put a little hole there and then go through onto the jar. That's why we had to sew it together first, okay? Okay. You want me so, to take a few stitches out? Yeah, if you want to. Um, okay, so you press this seam open. Oh, okay. even these press, ones too? Uh -huh. Press it okay. open because it's easier to um, get the seam. So I'm going to just go ahead and take this. Right here is where I want to stick. This is the um, one that's the fabric is right side up. And just take your dandy tool and put your tongue on the side and just hope you don't rip anything. Hope you rip the right stuff. That is very cute. Look, they do okay. line up really well, ladies. Um, meaning, right? That's there. all really good. Really, really good. So now, when you want to move the paper, I just use my nail and just run it along like that. And then eventually, something will pop. So, do you want me to uh, unsew right here now? Uh huh. And but, top of. Okay. okay, so, but I'm just going to take oh, this. Look at you. Open this a little bit, right side. Just see, let's see how leaning over the table. Just take it and tuck it. Tuck it in there, tuck it in there. Go in, go in. Whoop. Yep. Nope, it didn't go in. Okay. It's just a little hole. And I'm trying to keep my fingers back so Eric can see. Ah, look at that. Went right in there. Right in the little hole. So now we would cut it. Let's see. Now it's the same, so you cut it right here on top. Mm-hmm. Midnight. But you should you should press this down. Oh, I press that down. Press it down, and you actually have to sew it together. Oh, this one. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. All right. So Good. Press it down, but not all the way. Just right Don't, here. On top, not right? all the way. Okay. Okay. Now you I are see. going to. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, okay. there it is. 
and it gets sewn across like that. So for so these yes. two together. Uh huh. If you if you have questions, do you have we, a question? Uh huh. You then could ask them. me why she well she sews that. Brenda asked if you when you sew for the stem for the top part of it, the fabric is right side up. When your stem is going into the bottle, the fabric is wrong side up. And that's good. You'll, you'll see it. You'll see that you can, um, we'll lay the wrong side up right into the, okay. So now we're good. Open it up. All right. The right sides together. Is, okay, there we go. Okay, so she's right. Now you go ahead and cut it here and you have to, to tuck, you're tucking this into the bottle. Okay, you tuck right side up into the bottle, and then all of a sudden, when it comes out on the other side, oh. this is gone, and now it's coming out of, it's in the water to keep the flower alive, right? There. And now it's wrong side up. Perfect. Perfect. You wanted it. Yeah, I'm you just got it. I'm just laying it out, but you can go ahead and do it. Now you need to have your leaves. And I I didn't really like it covering the yellow, I, but but it looks droopy that way, huh? Does it look droopy? It didn't get enough water. <laughs> Is that okay? I always like it this way. <laughs> I want it to look happy and alive. Here, like that. Yeah. All right. Perhaps you can put the, them a little lower. Yay. Put them a little lower. Is that good? Yeah. I like that better. I like that better. And then you can, you can go ahead and do that. But you can see just a simple um, leaf there. On this die. I could have chosen to, to put this one in the very center or the circle in the center and stitch around it with a blanket stitch or just put a big old button right there. I'm anxious to go home and, and get some buttons going. I cut it too small. Look at me. Oh, she cut it too small. Oh, <laughs> she cut it too small. <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> she's, she's gluing the glue together. <laughs> That's okay. We'll put a we'll put a we'll put a big old button right uh, uh, oh, there. Oh, a little rose. <laughs> put a, yeah, put the yeah, put the leaf there. All right. Here, let's see. Turn it around. But I just want. To... I'm sorry. Here, here, look, look. You, you just have to figure it out. Great, great. <laughs> all right, and then they're, all of the rest is sewing it all together. You can see all the pieces with the borders. And they're strips. I love to cut them with my AccuQuilt strip That's beautiful. Cutter. I love this flower. It's, it's really cute. It's adorable. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.